Hi, this is Matthew Mead and this is a quick review of the October release of Axis Site Designer. Let's take a look at the new improvements made to the tool. The first improvement is the addition of global Zipstream settings within the project scenarios. As you can see here, as you change the zip strength, the storage and the bitrate automatically changes. You can also override global Zipstream settings on individual cameras so you can meet any specific requirements. The project Zipstream settings are also available when selecting your recording solution. This can allow you to make the appropriate changes to suit your recording solution. The next exciting addition to Axis Site Designer is the ability to define IP addresses. You can add an IP address range and Axis Site Designer will tell you how many addresses are available in that scheme and automatically associate them with the devices in your design. Here, within the installation report, you can see the addresses that have been assigned at the bottom of the report, you also have a table highlighting all of the devices and the IP addresses. This information is really useful when you are planning your project and staging your devices. You can also override the automatic assignment and add individual addresses to each device. The next improvement we have made is the ability to display the detection range of Axis Object Analytics. Here I'm selecting a camera using the filters and when I add the camera to the map I not only see the guidance for pixel density I can also see the detection criteria for the analytic. Here you can see the detection limit for vehicles and people. Finally we now highlight what's new in the tool. At a glance you can see what's new. You can also click on the YouTube link and see the latest review video. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.